Hey everybody, it's Tank and Trucker. So I decided to take the Leo out again. I, uh, I you know, I just yesterday, I, it was killing me. I've never had a tank. I couldn't break a thousand damage in the damn thing. I only got a few matches in it. Um, but, you know, every time I play it, if you as you can see, where am I at on the matchmaker list? Right on the freaking bottom again. Every match I've had in this thing, I keep seeing tier 8s and tier 9s. And 194 pen, as you will see in this, does not have... It doesn't have enough pen to pen through a lot of the tier, some of the tier eights, let alone tier nines. Um, yeah, you'll see I come up against a Tiger II here in a little bit, and it just does not have the penetration to even go through its lower plate. Um, I, you know, it's got the speed, but the problem it has is it doesn't have the get up and go. You know, once you get going. Uh, moving, you, you you know, you can maintain that speed, but getting up, it takes a little bit to get there, so it's not like you can just zing around somebody really fast and get behind them. So here I thought I'd come out and try and light some people, and uh, to no avail, it doesn't have the view range either. I saw a tree drop, I just took a blind shot. Not sure if I actually hit anything there or not, to be honest with you. Yeah, you oh need one of the biggest monstrous tanks in the the uh, the game, and I don't light them from this distance, so you can see the view range on this kind of sucks. So I figured, all right, I'll move out of the way. I saw that A44. That's something more uh, more my size. Given that he's a tier seven, I thought, well, I'll go over here and see if I can penetrate him. Thought I was going to be able to get a shot on uh, T26 E4, but wouldn't have been able to pen him anyways. From that distance with this crappy penetrating gun, just ain't going to happen. See, the A44 at least come, you can get the ZIS-7 on that. And that's uh, got decent pen and does 300 damage, but it's got, you know, good, penetra good penetration. Unlike this gun that... You hit stuff and you just don't pen it. If I would have hit the uh, Tiger II and the turret uh, probably a few seconds earlier, I might have penned him because it was the side of his turret. But as of right now, my main concern is not getting stuck in front of him. That side, that shot, yeah, well, it was at, he was at a real good angle. Hit him in the side, and so that, I kind of figured it wasn't going to penetrate. Now, that looked like it might have hit on more of the upper plate than the lower plate than anything. But I know I do get some shots on his lower plate here, and they just don't go through. I can't believe I snuck that by the STI without hitting him. I got r r really lucky there. It'd be nice for a medium uh, to... See, right there, I hit him in the lower plate. He has it a pretty darn good angle, though, so... This one, I come right out and put it in his lower plate. That was a great shot at this lower plate and still a pen. Finally, I said, screw it. I'm just going to go around and try and get him out on the side. So I shot him in the butt. So I know I can pen him in the rear, but by this time, we were getting surrounded. We had tanks coming on this side and this side. So I hit that IS. It looked like it hit him in the, around the uh, driver's hatch, but um, bounced. And the bad thing about this is it's a medium, and uh, it's got that long freaking load time. That one, I think I just knocked his track off. And this is where I get screwed. Now, if it didn't have a almost 11 second freaking load time, I might have been loaded and been able to hit the bat chat there, but it, it's it's a medium. The gun does have good alpha, if you can penetrate, but it's got a god-off long load time. 
But anyways, yeah, after watching the uh, review of the match here, yeah, a couple of the shots on the Tiger 2 were per, per, pretty iffy. They probably wouldn't have penned unless I had a lot higher, like a lot, lot higher uh, penetrating round. But there was that definitely two shots on that thing that I put in the lower plate. One of them definitely, 100%, should have penned, but it's not enough penetration. But we end up going on to win this match. Um, it was a, it was actually a real close one. That's unusual. Usually it's butt stomping matches and 15 to zero. But this one ended up uh, working out for us, and we won. So kudos to the team. Did a great job. Um, if you want to hold on for a minute, I'll have the after action review for you. So just hold on, and I'll be right back. All righty. Well. You know, I had to give it another try, and I did, because it was just irritating the crap out of me. I've never had a tank. I've only got a few matches in this, but I've never had a tank I couldn't break a thousand damage with. So I took it back out, and then, as you can see, the gun just doesn't have the penetration. When you're shooting a Tiger II in the lower plate and, and you're bouncing, um, you know, obviously, what is it, 190-something? 194 pen is just not enough to even go through the lower plate of a Tiger II. So, I, t <laughs> I didn't give up, though, you know, so I used its strength and got behind the Tiger II, and I was able to pen him in the side there and finally take him out. Um, I did destroy his track, uh, did 280 damage, and finally took him out. The IS, I knocked, destroyed his track, knocked out his driver, hit him twice for 572, and the IS-2 hit him for 307. So, um... Yeah, 11.59 in damage and one kill. I mean, to, in my mind, that really sucks, to be honest with you. I, I know I always say try and do your hit points and damage, which I did. But I had 12 shots, 11 direct hits, and only 4 pen. That's just telling you how pitiful the gun is. And the same problem I had yesterday with it. I kept hitting the targets, just wasn't penetrating them. When you're hitting targets and not penetrating with premium ammo... The gun needs a buff, or it needs to not be seeing uh, tanks that it can't pen. One of the two, and or just I don't know. It's just 194 in premium rounds against a tier eight. That's just not enough, apparently. I mean, if that would have been an IS three, but if pretty much you can name almost any of the tier eights, it's just not going to go through the front. Um, it does have good speed, but it just doesn't have that oomph to take the takeoff. If it could go from 0 to 60 a lot quicker, then you could get behind people and take them out. But it just it doesn't have that. It's got the speed once you get going. You can maintain it, but getting up to that speed is where you, you it falls down. Um, you know, I lost 35,519 credits shooting all those premium rounds. And you, as you saw, I missed one target. One time. But only penned 4 out of 11. Pitiful gun. I mean... That's, that's all I can really say about it. Um, it's just I don't recommend After playing it again, three matches, uh, hitting all those targets and just not penning them, I, I just got to say I don't recommend getting this thing if you can help it. Just uh, try and uh, free research over it. It's just, as you can see, it's too much. The gun just is, is not worth a crap. Um, when you're, every time I play it, it seems like I'm low on the matchmaker. I mean, uh, you know, I tier nines in that match and i was down at the very bottom of the matchmaker you know maybe if i was top of the matchmaker i might have better luck with it but you know when you're bottom of the matchmaker it's just it can't pen the stuff so anyways this is tank and trucker i hope you enjoyed the video and you know i tried again with it guys but it's i just got to stick to my guns on this one i i would recommend to try and kind of research over it uh you know if you like the video please hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. I'd like to have you. You guys take it easy. Be safe. And I'll see you on the battlefield.